Visio 2016 has the ability to save the document as a PDF. So that way we can email the document off to some other people and they don't have to have Visio installed in order to see it. Well, let's go ahead and take a look and see how we do that. So let's go up to where it says File, and then we'll choose Save As. Then we'll choose the location. We'll go ahead and choose our desktop. And then choose the Save As Type. And from here we have a lot of different options. Go ahead and scroll all the way down to where it says PDF. And then we have a few additional options here, such as standard publishing, online and printing, or you can make it a minimum size, so that way it is smaller, but it may not be as good graphics-wise. We also can click on Options, and we can choose additional options as well. We can choose to include the background, or we can say don't include the background because it's just going to make the thing too big. In our case, our background is mostly white, so it's fine. Let's go ahead and choose OK and Save. Now, we've automatically created this PDF that pops up. Our original drawing is still there behind our PDF. And we can see that it automatically saved it with a name. We could, we could have customized that as well, but of course we can do it afterwards. And now that nobody can make any changes to this PDF because, it, because it's a read-only document. And you can see that uh, also it's not very large. So if we minimize all this, right-click on it, <clears throat> choose Properties, we can see it's only 160 kilobytes, so it'll be pretty easy to email to anybody we'd like. So that's how we save a Visio drawing to PDF.